All right, so I want to take a minute, and um, we're going to do a test here of a uh, of a parachute issue. And if you've played on the new Miramar map on the test service, you're going to have noticed this. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to do a drop um, here in Airgel on the production servers just to be able to get a, uh, a baseline of what I expect a drop to look like. And we've all spent countless hours being able to perfect our ability to drop exactly on the location that we want to be able to drop to, right? And um, there's been some changes on the test server side. Um, and the only changes I had seen originally on the test server side was you had lost the ability to do a free look all the way around while you're parachuting down. So you, you could look to your right, you could look to your left, but you only have like a maybe 180, 200 degree view when previously you could look all the way around, completely around. Right. So uh, they, they've changed that. But uh, in their ability to add that back into Miramar, uh, they've changed some very fundamental uh, parachuting uh, aspects. And, and one of them uh, is how fast you can drop. The other is your ability to achieve a maximum speed moving forward with your minimum amount of speed of fall, which plays into every piece of the early game. Uh, being able to hit the exact spot that you want to be able to uh, to hit. All right, so in this in this game, I'm going to do a very quick. Uh, it's not to play the game. It's not. It doesn't even matter if it's fog or whatever. The whole point is just to be able to show what is going to happen when when I do a drop, and I'll explain to you what I'm doing with my mouse and keyboard um, as we're going through it. So okay, so let's do a quick uh, drop in a pretty. Let's drop somebody somewhere pretty far off like this. So we'll do a quick drop. Okay. All right. So immediately I'm going to my mark. I'm pressing up on my mouse. I've got my mouse pressed all the way up and I'm at 126 kilometers per hour, but I'm moving at full speed across the map, 126. Okay. So now I'm going to make the decision. I want to drop to the ground. Okay. So I'm going to drop to the ground. I'm pulling my mouse down and I should be able to hit 230 there we go 234 kilometers per hour which i have hit and now i'm doing the normal drop it's just that simple doing a little bit of rocking i can get a little bit of control here i can look all the way around right i can see that there's some other guys that were back there behind me yeah see a few there okay but so here i am made my drop not going to uh, play this game but I can't help but load up my gun dang I got some pretty good loot already um, anyway the whole point is you got to see what the uh, the parachute looks like uh, in the existing game and anyway that's what it looked like so I'm gonna drop out of this Okay, so that's that's it for Aaron Joe. Okay, all right. So now I'm gonna make the twi the, the twitch. <laughs> I'm gonna make the switch over from um, the production servers over to uh, the test servers real quick. And again, I don't I don't make test videos, and I don't really complain a whole lot in regard to the, the chain. I mean, I know the, the developers are working like crazy. Uh, today is December 18th, and I believe we're still planning on a December 20th launch for PC 1.0. The only reason I bring this up is because parachuting is a fundamental part of the game that every single player has spent countless hours trying to be able to, uh, to master. And it's pretty significant into the very beginning of the game, the early part of the game, you want to make sure you land exactly uh, where you want to be. You want to land on a specific rooftop. You want to land at a specific compound. You're trying to reach someplace that's really far off that's going to be um, crucial to your strategy. You want to land at a door and land, walk right into it. Um, with these changes, uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about here momentarily, with these changes, the situation has changed significantly. So I don't necessarily have the ability uh, to be able to to get to that high speed moving forward, minimum speed falling, because I've got to balance out my guy. i got to get a balance of my character. That's a completely new skill 
that every player has to be able to uh, to learn to do that balancing. The other is I can't drop at 234 kilometers per hour. Well, that changes my entire timing. If I'm going to drop at 200 kilometers per hour, that's going to change my forward momentum and how far I actually go uh, during that additional amount of time that I'm falling. So it changes the entire aspect of the early game. Uh, they did change it, and I appreciate it, where you can be able to look all the way around, full 360-degree view of being able to see everybody that's behind you, and that's great because that's absolutely necessary to be able to plan your strategy of, I know where the other people are dropping nearby me, and I need to be prepared for that they may be coming at me, or I want to go go with them. But the, uh, the 200 kilometers per hour drop speed limitation and no longer being able to lock in your mount or your 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 speed for moving forward and dropping by pushing your mouse all the way forward, that's changed that's changed it fundamentally. I and I, I think we've got two today's the eighteenth, December eighteenth, twenty seventeen. We've got two more days until the PC one point release. We're running the the existing parachuting technology code in in the production servers not in the test servers. I think we desperately need to switch it back. So anyway, let's let's take a look. I, I'm just now getting in here, so we'll uh, take a quick look again. Not a game to play to win. Just trying to uh, to prove a point in regard to, uh, to parachuting. So we'll see where we're going to try to parachute, and we'll try to parachute somewhere far away as soon as we can get out of the plane here. All right, so I'm out of the plane. All right, immediately I'm pushing my mouse up, headed toward it. Look at my look how fast I'm falling. I'm maxing out. Okay, I've got to get this straightened out. What in the world has happened? All right, so I'm I'm backing up with S. I'm trying to get my I'm trying to get my guy balanced out. Okay, I've got him balanced. Okay, now I'm gonna drop as fast as I can drop. Let's see how far I can, how fast I can get. I max out almost. I didn't quite hit 200 because I can't hit 200. I can't even hit 234. So I was trying to get here. There's no way in hell that I'm going to make that now. So now I'm just going to land over here. And you can see it. I mean, I've watched people jumping out of planes. That people have no idea what in the world is going on. Now, I can look all the way around. That's great. Again, that is exceptional. I'm glad that I can be able to do that. But my ability to be able to parachute, it has been hindered significantly. So I love what's going on with the game. I love playing the game. I'm really disappointed that right here at the uh, at the launch, uh, two days before the launch, that we're going to run into a situation where a fundamental uh, gameplay gameplay mechanic is is really broken. So um, anyway, I know that the 200 kilometer per hour issue has come up more than once. Uh, I think there's some people that have been talking about it. I don't think it's been discussed in regard to the balancing act that you have to do now in order to be able to get your character properly moving forward. And it's changing it's, cha it's changing the game in its entirety. So anyway, uh, I hope I hope this video helps. I'm gonna just go ahead and quit out. I hope the video helps. I hope that, um, I hope that we can get it addressed and I hope that we can be able to have a, uh, a great launch in, uh, in a couple of days. So anyway, if anybody at uh, Blue Holes listening, uh, thank you again for a wonderful game. Thank you for all the hard work you guys do. Um, I really hope there's something that we can be uh, doing to be able to get this corrected before we, uh, we make it to launch. Anyway, that's it. Thanks very much, guys. really appreciate you watching.